The results are in, the appeal has been lost for Celtic Football Club and also Kilmarnock as Lewis Mayo's red card was not overturned, there is failure for both of these clubs and to be fair, both of them were red cards, we have to, we have to put that on the table, especially the Yang one, you can't just be going around booting people right in the face, come on, what's that all about, Celtic have released a statement but before we get to then, are we surprised? We've kind of spent the last couple of days, hours, minutes, whatever, talking about the fact that this just wouldn't be successful. It was almost like wasted energy doing this. And that's exactly what it is. I mean, it, it's a boot in the face. I just don't see how it was ever, like... It's almost like a referee preference, like if the referee wants to give this or not, even though I think it is a red. But yeah, <laughs> as the inconsistencies have shown, they've not been given some weeks. And I think when this is going to an appeal... They're just never going to overturn this. Regardless if you think Yang meant it or not. And of course, it didn't look like he meant it, right? So, again, but Celtic have released a statement. And we'll get into Kelly's as well. Um, but, and I quote, this was at 7.31pm. And Celtic said this. The club's appeal over the red card shown to Yang in Sunday's game at Tyne Castle has been dismissed at an SFA hearing today. Tuesday, in brackets. A club spokesman said, we've received notification that the club's claim has been dismissed. Clearly, we are surprised and extremely disappointed at this decision. Yang will receive a two-match suspension. End of statement. So not the biggest statement there for Celtic. I mean, I guess I'm not expecting like 27 paragraphs or anything like that. But yeah, it's funny to see this happen because I just didn't think Celtic would appeal it. Uh, it's, just, it's just wasted energy for me. I don't really understand why they would uh, but Celtic's next two games in the league are at home against St Johnston and away to Levy um, I believe he can't play in the cup unless I've got something wrong there um, but funny enough it means he can return for the old firm game on the 7th of April so yeah he's going to miss the St Johnston and Livingston games but I mean is that really Celtic will probably f find a way but I tell you what that might be a tough game Celtic and um, you'd expect Celtic to pick up six points, but maybe if Davy, I say Davy Macaroni, Davy Martindale, sorry, if he can turn it around, maybe he can make Livingston a hard place to go. But uh, something tells me it's not going to be particularly hard. But uh, Lewis Mayo as well is not the only Celtic, <laughs> we're not a Celtic channel here, even though recently there's been a lot, it's, it's very heavy on Celtic. I tell you what, if Celtic did their business on Sunday, there'd be a lot more Rangers bashing going on, even though. Here, yeah, Rangers man here, but yeah, they would have to get bashed, wouldn't they? Because it's disgraceful losing 2-1 to Motherwell, um, even though Motherwell rightfully deserved their victory. Um, but yeah, in the same time period, of course, Rangers are taking on Dundee and at home against Hibs. So that will be crucial for the next old form. And how much better would it be from a Rangers perspective if they were going in? To those Dundee and Hibs games we have five point lead instead of two because that's what it should be man it really should be we've also got Derek McKenzie's come out and said that he's working on a, a decent size budget but uh, this is exactly what Kelly said in their statement about Lewis Mayo we can confirm that our appeal of Lewis Mayo's red card against Dundee has been dismissed after a hearing this evening and that is it there's no reason to um Peter in the bush about it. McKenzie also came out and said that VAR is driving us all mad. So, yeah, he says there's also too much inconsistency from officials under the system. Which, again, he's just repeating what everyone else is repeating at the end of the day. But anyway, troops, that's going to do it for this video. Celtic do not win their appeal. Neither did Kelly. Is it the correct decisions? Leave it down below in the comments below. But till then, peace.